good morning children in the previous class i told about the revision of fractions now we have left over only three chapters that is measurement money and time so the measurement i will take in the regular class now i'm going to the money chapter you know till fourth standard also i studied about money what is money the method of finding the price of one thing by is called unitary method the method of finding price of one unit is called unitary method the word unit means one unit means one in money it is related to rupees and pies rupees and pies is it rupees and pies rupees means are you p e e s rupees like this symbol is rupees like this pies means p a i s i s c pies that equal to p is the symbol for the pies but now we are studying still deep concepts in the money in this standard okay the basic mathematical operation is used in unitary method is multiplication and division is multiplication and division till more deep topics we are taking here that's why i am taking money now and measurement already we are studying from the third standard that i will take in the regular class this in the online class after the test i will give the so the basic mathematical operation used to find to find the unitary method is multiplication and division is multiplication and division so till this standard we have studied about rupees and pies 1 rupee equal to 100 pies this much i have studied is it rupees and pies converting pies into rupees and rupees into pies but now in this standard we are studying still more still more deep still more deep we are studying and it is the basic i told now fifth standard is the basic for your high school means it is continued to your next 6th 7th 8th continue to your next 6th 7th 8th standard 9th 10th standard also so now the okay, 9th chapter this is the 9th chapter exercise 9.1 solve the following sums solve the following sums what is there punit bought eight erasers punit punit bought eight erasers eight erasers for rupees for rupees 48 how much how much did one eraser cost did one eraser cost how much did one eraser cost so how many erasers he brought eight erasers he brought so what is the cost of eight erasers cost of eight erasers equal to rupees 48 how much rupees 48 how much did one eraser cost cost of one eraser cost of one eraser equal to 48 Divided by eight, forty-eight divided by eight. That equal to we have to do the division. So how many times eight? Eight six are forty-eight. So what is the answer? Rupees six. Rupees six. So cost of one eraser equal to one rupees six. Rupees six like this. So Puneet bought eight erasers for rupees forty-eight. How much did one eraser cost? So he bought eight erasers for rupees forty-eight. So one rupee, one eraser. How much cost? We have to find out. Means we have to do the division. So I have divided forty-eight divided by eight equal to how much rupees six. So next, next, next sum. So here all multiplication and division only in this chapter. Right? They have told now already to find out the unitary method means you have to use the basic operation multiplication and division. A dozen pineapples cost. A dozen pineapples cost rupees. Cost rupees two hundred and sixty-four. 
find the find the price of find the price of one pineapple find the price of one pineapple so a dozen pineapples cost rupees 264 find the price of one pineapple dozen means how many 12 dozen means 12 so cost of dozen pineapples equal to cost of dozen pineapples equal to rupees 264 so cost of find the price of one pineapple therefore price of therefore price of one pineapple equal to one pineapple equal to 264 divided by 12 together dozen pineapples cost they are given we have to find out now cost of only one price one price per one pineapple so divided by 12 so 264 divided by 12 12 twos are 24 26 is there so 12 twos are 24 so 6 minus 4 2 again 4 So twelve twos are twenty-four. So what is the cost of therefore cost of price of one pineapple is rupees twenty-two. Cost of one pineapple is twenty-two rupees twenty-two. Okay, like this, children, we have to take the division only here, only division. Okay, next one more sum I will go. Uh, next topic I will take. Okay, third sum. <clears throat> a farmer earns rupees. A farmer earns rupees. Farmer earns rupees three thousand five hundred in one month. In one month, what is his income? What is His income for six months. For six months. So farmer earns rupees three thousand five hundred in one month. What is his income for six months? So money earned. How much money earned by farmer per month is earned by farmer by farmer. Per month equal to rupees three thousand five hundred. Rupees three thousand five hundred. Money earned by farmer in six months. Money earned by farmer in six months. So what we have to do? Here we have to do the. Multiplication three thousand five hundred into six. One month they are earning three thousand five hundred, but they are asking per six months. For six months, how much he is earning? So we have to do the multiplication. Six zero is zero. Six zero is zero. Six five is thirty. Six three is eighteen. Plus three twenty one. So for earning for six months is rupees twenty one thousand. Rupees twenty one thousand for six months. The farmer earns six for six months. Rupees twenty one thousand. Got it, children? Understood how to do? If they are given one one month amount and we have to find out six months means we have to do the multiplication. If they are given large amount and we have to find out only one mean one unit means we have to do the division. Got it? Then we'll go for the next topic: profit and loss. For this purpose only, I have taken the money chapter. Profit and loss is very, very, very important. It will be continued to your sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth classes also. So now, profit and loss in this money chapter only. This you have not studied till fourth standard. Only converting the rupees and five and addition and subtraction of money you have studied. But main thing is profit and loss. Profit and loss. Okay, the price at which an item is bought, the price, the price at which 
the item is bought the item is bought the item is bought is called is called the cost price is called the cost price if you read these topics it is very very important children for your next coming fourth coming classes okay for that purpose i'm teaching you now the price at which the item is bought means if you purchase any item that price is called cost price the price at the price at which the price at which the price at which an item is sold an item is sold it is called selling price item is sold is called selling price is called selling price for selling price sp we will tell for cost price cp and for selling price sp then next when the selling price is more than when the selling price is more than selling price is more than cost price more than cost price then there is a there is a profit then we will get the profit means when we sold the item for more than the cost price what we brought then it is a profit there is a profit c for profit we will say as p then when the cost price is more than when the cost price is more than cost price is more than more than the selling price more than the selling price there is a loss is the loss so when we purchased an item and we have sold it very less than the cost price then it is a loss we will get the loss loss for loss we will tell as l for loss we will tell as l so we have to find out whether it is profit or loss we have some formulas profit means profit equal to sp minus cp sp means selling price cp means cost price then loss equal to cp minus sp cost price minus selling price so when cost price is more than the selling price we will get the loss when the selling price is more than the cost price we will get the profit i think i understood children the price at which the item is bought is called the cost price the price at which an item is sold is called the selling price when the selling price is more than the cost price there is a profit when the cost price is more than the selling price there is a loss so profit equal to selling price minus cost price loss equal to cost price minus selling price okay now one more three more points are there i will explain then some sandal we will take in the class after explaining the points sums i will teach in the class okay in the regular class i will teach to determine the cost price 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 when profit when profit and selling price and profit and selling price are given and selling price are given we use the formula we use cp equal to sp minus p cp equal to means cost price equal to selling price minus profit next to determine the selling price this is the formula for finding the cost price this is the formula for sending the cost price for finding the cost price 
when profit and selling price are given to determine the selling price to determine the selling price to determine the selling price when loss is given when loss is given when loss is given we use the formula we use cp equal to sp plus loss so to determine sp sorry to determine the cost price you are also cost price only to determine the cost price when loss is given we use cp equal to sp plus loss next to determine the selling price to determine the selling price to determine the selling price when cost price when cost price when cost price and profit and profit are given when cost price and profit are given when cost price and profit are given we use we use sp equal to cp plus profit cp plus profit p mean profit to determine sp means selling price to determine the selling price to determine the selling price which when cost price and loss are given loss are given loss are given we use we use sp equal to cp minus loss sp equal to cp minus loss so here to determine the cost price when profit and selling price are given we use cp equal to sp sp minus profit to determine the cost price when loss is given we use cp equal to sp plus loss to determine the selling price when cost price and profit are given we use sp equal to cp plus profit to determine the selling price when cost price and loss are given we use selling price equal to cost price minus loss so if these points if you read thoroughly it will be easy for you for your next coming means sums whatever sums will give also we can find out easily about the profit and loss to find out the profit and loss these are the points are very very important these points are very very important so we will do one sum and one or two sums and we will afterwards i will teach in the regular classes other sums all i will teach in the regular classes i told you to note it down in the rough note children that points these points you have to read thoroughly if you read thoroughly only it will be easy for you okay and old microwave an old microwave oven microwave oven an old microwave oven is sold for is sold for rupees 11500 if it was if it was bought for rupees bought for rupees 12600 what is the loss incurred what is the loss incurred what is the loss incurred so answer given sp how much what is the sp selling price given sp equal to sold sold is the sp how much 11500 11500 rupees 11500 cp equal to bought how much rupees 
1600 bought means cp cost price and sold means sp selling price so loss equal to we have to find out the loss why because we purchased for 12600 and sold it for 11500 so we get the loss cost price is more than the selling price when cost price is more than the selling price we will get the we will get loss only so loss equal to cp minus sp means cost price minus selling price so what is the cost price 12600 minus 11500 So one one zero. So one thousand hundred rupees. Thousand hundred is the last year. Rupees thousand hundred is the last year. So we get the last year rupees thousand hundred. Okay, children. So in the next next classes in the regular classes, I will go the sums deep. Uh, another sums I will teach you. This is the profit and loss. Okay. Thank you very much children.